Days like today are going to be interesting to say the least. And just like that, we are back and we're back with a bang. Today, I am here in beautiful Motherwell for Sunday fixture. A Sunday fixture I've actually been waiting to go to for a good few years now. Last year, I actually missed out on this fixture because I was over in Ireland. I was gutted. It looked like some atmosphere. And therefore, and he puts it across and in goes the goal. And Melkis in on his first start. And today, I'm hoping for more of the same. Motherwell face their first home game of the season. And today, it's going to get off to a cracker. Motherwell versus Hibs, three o'clock kickoff on a Sunday. This could be a tasty one. If you're well tuned in on Twitter, let's just say there's a reason why this could be a tasty one. So since the fixtures came out, I knew this game was happening on a Sunday. I've been desperate to get to this game because Sunday fixtures to me are a lot better atmosphere than Saturday fixtures. I don't know why, there's something just about a Sunday fixture. And when Motherwell Hibs happened on a Sunday again, I knew I was going. So weeks ago, I got this ticket. However, last night, things kicked off. So a certain fanzine, a Motherwell fanzine released, let's just say, an angry statement, an angry front cover to this fanzine, tagging a certain YouTuber and coming out with crazy statements about YouTubers, saying we do this, we do that. Listen, I'm here today and I'm here to promote Scottish football. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm not here to shove cameras in people's faces. If you know me, whoever I sit next to at games, I always ask them, is it all right if I have video? If they say no, I've, all, I've always moved, always moved. I have never been one for putting my camera in people's faces and I'm not here to put people into trouble. I understand the ultra scene, I understand the police, they're right on top of videos. I'm here to promote Scottish football, I'm here to show the rest of Scotland, the rest of England, the rest of Europe exactly what Scottish football has to give. So if you're going to go on Twitter, fair enough, come out with a hang football vloggers, right, it's a laugh. However, if you're going to come out with such strong statements, at least have something to back it up because what a lot of people don't realise is we go out of our way, we don't have a social life, we put our life and soul into this. This is a job at the end of the day and we do it so we can show you guys exactly what you're missing out on. Hey, welcome. Hello. Coxie, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good mate, how's oh, yourself? Oh, jinx sir, that was a good Aye. one. Coxie, the day. First game of the season. Well, first game of the season at home. Yeah. How did you just get on last week? Well, we drew one each at Dundee. Um, it was a very poor game because it was a waterlogged pitch mm -hmm. and the game was a threat of actually... Does it sound like Dundee, does it? No, not at all. I'm from there, uh, uh, as a fact. So, today, I think it's going to be a high scoring draw. Right. Two, two or three each. Always is. Motherwell, Hibs, we've got the yeah. six each. Ah, you've got that. I think if, if any of know about the famous six each, it's probably Scottish football's most famous game, I would say. Handel is with him. John! Jukovic! I would, I would love a wee six each a day, oh, wouldn't, wouldn't you? No, because it's shit for your health. <laughs> I don't know about the day, Hibs obviously coming off a good form. I think Motherwell could be, could be in for a hard one today. Personally, that's what I've been thinking. Under Stuart Kettlewell, we've only lost two competitive games in 90 minutes. Uh -huh. So, you know, I, I think I think we've got a chance today, but it, it all depends on what Hibs side turns up because they're the most bipolar side in Scottish football. Hey, Gilgsy, yeah. first game home, how are we feeling? Nervous, good to be back. Good to be back. Uh, we've all, of course, we've had. There's no the, feeling at home, is there? Aye, no place like home. If, if we play like we can today, yeah, then I, I don't see why we can't get a result. But Hibs also are very good in the counter, so and they've got a lot of pace. Uh, a lot of players like Eli Yuan, Venti. That yeah, I think Dylan very Venti, good. very good player the other night as well. Very fast paced. Seven hundred thousand. A team in the Scottish Premiership. The Scottish Premiership for Rangers signed up for seven hundred thousand. Mad as him, that? No, he's going to be good. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's how we know, because we don't get players like that. Right, I'm going to get to the stadium. This is going to be some atmosphere today. Three o'clock kickoff on a Sunday. Hibs v Motherwell, two of Scottish football's giants. I'm loving it, and I hope you'll be loving it too. Let's get in and feel the atmosphere for ourselves. As you all know, I love a programme, right? I had to get a programme, but look at this. Motherwell have got their own stickers. How class is that? I'm absolutely starving. So, before we get our seat, let's get something to eat. 
might have to go for that. Look at this chicken tikka chasney pie. Oh, oh my goodness, mother well. Wow. This is a massive fixture to see where both teams are at. Motherwell had they're both going to be vying for top six at least. European spots are there to be won. And this game is going to be a benchmark to see who's going to come out on top. Motherwell Hibs has always been a high scoring game. We talked about that 6 each game and today it's going to be more of the same. Hibs have brought a massive away support. Motherwell, they always turn out in numbers. This is going to be some atmosphere. It's going to be a very good game with both teams flying. Let's see how the game goes. Motherwell fans releasing a TIFO ahead of the game. Look at the size of that Hibs support. They're in fine form now in Europe. Before this game gets underway, I just want to say how good both these fan bases are. Very underrated, very, very underrated fan bases. Hibs, look at the size of support they've brought. Motherwell. Scottish football is far too underrated at times. And that is why I'm here today to show you exactly how good Scottish football can be at times. It's Sunday, it's 3pm and it's time for Motherwell versus Hibs. The final's out. Oh, love it. Look at this atmosphere. Both sides going for it. Fast paced start to this game. Both sides know how big a game this is. Can we just have a moment for the Motherwell groundsman? I don't know if any of you remember, but Motherwell used to be drastic for a football pitch. Look at this surface. What a difference 10 years in a dig up makes her. <laughs> Start to pick up a bit. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back. This is what Scottish football's all about. Both sides going for it. Look at this. Scottish football, nothing compares. Well, we get this in the box here. The ball. Oh! half time and it's all square. So half time here and it seems as if Hibs have got a bit of a European hangover. They've not really come out of the box today and Motherwell have had the chances in the first half. Hibs would know the power they possess. To be honest with you, their squad is far, far stronger than Motherwell. However, give Motherwell their dues. Stuart Kettlewell has got them out of the box and all they've done is dominated this first half. Second half, somebody's going to need to come out and take this game by the scuff of the neck. Will it be Motherwell? What? Will Hibs European hangover end in the second half? Oh! 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 Good start for Motherwell. Straight on the front foot again. Chance for Motherwell to break here. Will Spittle. Hit that. Juliet. Oh! What a chance it is. I'll tell you something, it's been all Motherwell today. Hibs haven't got that second gear. That European hangover is definitely taking its cause. These fans haven't stopped all game. Both sides. Both sides. Absolutely phenomenal today. Once again. Let's just hope we can get a goal. Oh, one of those new signings in. Oh! That 
goal was needed and listen to this place now. 25 minutes to go. The well boys are loving it. <laughs> Beautiful football from Liverpool here. Some one touch stuff. Hibs are all over the place. Motherwell looked fantastic right now. This place is starting to get rowdy now. A big result this would be for the well. 7,000 fans under the roof today. What a support. What an atmosphere it's been all day. 15 minutes to go. <laughs> Passionate as ever. He's in, he's in. Oh, oh, he's gone. No way. Oh, what's he done now? What a player! Set up the first one! And he scored the second. Hibs fans have had enough, they're off! My God, have Motherwell got a player on their hands! Literally, came on as a sub. What, half an hour ago? He's made a goal, and then he's made a goal for himself. Mika Beareth, remember the name. VR check here, possible handball. <laughs> Adam LaFondra's already made his mind up. He's putting the ball in the spot. <laughs> oh, he's got in a monitor, it's going to be a penalty. LaFondra knows. <laughs> he knows. It's a penalty. Penalty. Yep. Must have been a clear handball. <laughs> Six minutes to go. Hibs get this. Then they've got five minutes to find an equaliser. Typical cinch. Adam LaFondra. The ex Redding man. The ex Premier League man to step up. Go. I've got five minutes to find a equaliser. It's getting nervy now, Hibs are going for it. This is the one thing I hate about extra time. You can never see what minute it's actually in. I don't know how long's left. But it's close anyway. Hands on deck now for Motherwell. I need to get this ball in now. It's in, it's in. Oh. Oh. Huge for the well. And there we go. Full time. Motherwell have done it. It's a huge win to kick start their season. And I can't say it's not deserved, they've been fantastic today. The players, the fans, it's been a great day all round. <sighs> oh, well, wasn't that just eventful? Well, Mika Beareth, if you don't know the name, get to know very quickly. That man is going to be something special in the Scottish Leagues. Motherwell thoroughly deserved the victory today. That was an absolutely phenomenal performance. As for Hibs, it did seem as though they had a European hangover. However, all eyes for Hibs are going to be on Thursday. If they can get a result against Luzerne, that means that they will be up against Aston Villa in the next round. Imagine Hibs versus Aston Villa. Easter Road. Sold out that atmosphere is going to be phenomenal. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on yet another video. It was good to be back at Fur Park today and I hope to be back soon. If you've not already, click that subscription button and I will see you in the next one.